Hello, welcome to Train Talk. I'm Monty Miller. I'm Rebecca Cowell. And we're here today talking to uh, Brady Redwine, who's the Vice President of Real Estate for Texas Central. So essentially, Brady is in charge of station development for all three passenger stations uh, in Dallas, the Brazos Valley, and in Houston. And so he has the responsibility of making sure our stations are as cool and amenity-laden as humanly possible. And Brady, who's a proud Aggie, Whoop. Is, um, is a really fun guy. He's really hard to get in touch with. He rarely shows up to the office. So this is a treat for you guys that we got him for two shows. This one's part one, so stay tuned and let's go talk to Brady. Today, our, we have a very special guest. We have a Brady Redwine. Brady, remind me of your title. Uh, Vice President of Real Estate. So I run uh, station development and right-of-way acquisition. And that's at Texas Central? That is at Texas Central. All right. Well, tell us just a little about, give me your job description. What do you do? Uh, didn't I do that just now? Yeah, no, you gave me your title, <laughs> but de detail. So, 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 uh, yeah, Clay, I get asked this all his, the time. <laughs> oh, oh, really? What, what you actually do here, yes. <laughs> what, what, what do I do? <laughs> so, uh, it, it kind of involves into two different categories, one of which uh, is the right-of-way acquisition program, um, setting budget, talking with landowners. Um, outside of that, so that, that, again, is buying all the land that we need. On the other side, there's the uh, station development piece that is the long-term vision for how customers interact with the train, what their experience is like, not only on the train, uh, but also outside the station, um, offering amenities and other things. And so uh, I kind of act as somewhat of a liaison to Jack Matthews and Matthew Southwest, who's our, our lead developer. Um, in, in, in addition to that, there's a lot of conversations that go on with the city of Dallas, city of Houston, and that really encompasses most of, most of my efforts. So. so you're in charge of station development. That's really cool. I know, I mean, especially for Monty and I, who, who interact with the public on a long, on an uh, ongoing daily basis. basis yeah, day. daily, um, both in person and online. Absolutely. One of the biggest questions that we get asked is, what will our stations look like? How will they feel? What kind of amenities will be there? You know, can you talk to us a little bit about what a station will look like? Yeah, so I, th I think if you look at, um, you know, ultimately what we're, what we're permitting is our, our station, and it's, it's a building that's going to allow people to get dropped off, have multimodal access from existing or future uh, modes of transit, i.e. Uber, autonomous vehicles, DART, Metro. Uh, but ultimately, I think what we have in, in view and the cities have the same view, um, you're going to have the station, but then everything around the station is going to grow up. And so if you look at... Um, if you look at the areas around the Dallas station, um, you would you would say it's probably underdeveloped, underutilized compared to just outside the boundary of that. If you go just north of I-30, you've got the convention center, and then downtown just blows up. You know, you've got vertical vertical construction, um, and really even south of there, south of the side, it's very you know it's not dense development. In Houston, the same thing. You've got a a site at the Northwest Mall that's got great views, great access, but it's um, its use has changed since you know the 1960s or so when that was developed. Now that's 610 290 in Houston. That that area. Correct, 610 290, kind of northwest side of the 610 loop. Okay. Um, that's that area has completely changed. It, what used to be industrial and in, you know just after World War II transition to a little bit of residential, some retail, still industrial. Now you're seeing um, the Galleria area um, south of there, uptown, growing north, and it's wanting to be dense. Okay, now I, I know that I'm sitting here with two Aggies. So right, that, I, I would well, that you cut me off because I was about yeah. to go to the, the other area. So I'm, I, this is kind of the broad area, broad view of stations right now it, as conditions exist now. Sure. In Grimes County, you got 30 and 90, um, you know, 20 miles to the east of College Station. 
And you, you've got a little bit, I mean, you've got some gas stations, you've got some interest. There, there is a lot of traffic there. There's people going back and forth between College yeah. Station and, and Huntsville. Yeah, you got Huntsville on the other side. Exactly. And so you've, got, you've got two large universities, you know, 80, 90,000 students, something like that. Yeah. Is that why there's going to be a midpoint station? That, that's, that's, that, is, that is kind of the main reason. There, otherwise, there's not a, well, let's not get into that yet. <clears throat> so on stations in that area, you don't see a lot of dense development. We put a station there, you imagine what's going to happen, similar to what's going to happen in Dallas and Houston. So Dallas and Houston vision is you're going to have a station built. Um, it, you know, for a while it's going to be sitting there and you're going to have a big viaduct coming in. Trains are, you know, anywhere 40 to 70 feet up in the air. And there might not be, day one, there may not be tons of buildings around it. 20 years from now, you may not actually see the station because of all the economic development that's going to occur on um, the land just adjacent to the station in Dallas, across the Union Pacific, over by Gillies and, and into the Cedars, across 30, up towards the convention center. In, in Houston, the same thing. Um, I think what you're going to see in Houston is a new node of development, similar to You've got downtown, you've got the woodlands, you've got energy corridor, you've got medical, you know, the m medical area, medical district or whatever. Um, there, I think you're going to have, you know, Northwest Train Station or yeah, something. I mean, I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't think know. I think it's called a Northwest Transit Center. Well, Northwest Center, Transit yeah. Center, but I mean, like what they're going to call it in the future. It'll okay. be the, you know, Texas Central Transit Center or something, yeah. you know, you do, it's going to, it's going to blow up. You're going to see an extension of downtown um, into the Cedars and, and, um, and I think, I think, again, the cities are going to benefit from that. In Grimes County, it'll look different. You're probably not going to have the same level of density. But what you are going to see is property values rising because all of a sudden what was before, you know, a non-commuter community to Dallas or Houston, it could commute to Huntsville or College Station, but, you know, it's kind of outside of that, that realm. I think you're going to see commuter communities, you know, spring up in that area around the station. Um, just because they're going to have a 30 minute ride to Houston, 60 minute ride to Dallas. I mean, there's people in Dallas and Houston that drive 60, 90 minutes, uh, you know, each way. Oh yeah. I can't even get to Frisco during rush hour right. in less no, than 90 I, minutes. Yeah. I, li I live in Fort Worth, work in Dallas. It's 90 minutes on average trip. So, right. so yeah. I, th I think you're going to see that you'll, you'll see, I think there, hopefully there's, you know, partnerships with, uh, the University of A&M or, or Sam Houston, where you also see some co-locations of either research or um, other, you know, other uh, relationships that, that, that make sense to locate right there at the, at the station or around the station site. So again, I think it's, it's going to be exciting, but time will tell. Well, so walk, walk us through what it actually is like, this experience of showing up at a high-speed train station, navigating your way through it, getting on the train and, and going to your final destination. Mm -hmm. what, what kinds of services or restaurants or shops are we going to kind of see at, at each station? Right. So, um, so one, for, I mean, if you think about you're, you're in the suburbs and you're, you're needing to get to Houston or you're needing to get to Dallas and you're, say you're on the outskirts of Houston, one goal, so for the car driver, we hope to make sure that we've teamed up with TxDOT, teamed up with the city, uh, county, other municipalities that we pass through to make sure there's good signage, good direction. So you've got an easy, everybody, even if you've never been there, you know how to get there quickly. Um, on, uh, you know, our, our, our plans would be that we have a, a co-located or a, a shuttle type site that, that connects directly with um, you know, BRT lines, which are bus rapid transit, um, Metro in Houston, DART um, in Dallas, which involves light rail and bus service, uh, along with other ways to connect. So in, in Dallas, you've got a, um, you know, we'll have some sort of vehicle that, um, or connection that goes to Union Station. Uh, in Houston, uh, we would want to have a, a very efficient connection to Northwest Transit Center. So one, you want to have like a seamless way to get there. Once you're there, you're parked. If you're driving, you're going to be parked in a number of parking facilities that are around. But once you're parked and you get out and walk on the street, um, our goal is that you don't see a parking garage in a station. When you get out, you walk on the street and you're going into the station, you look around and it's, it's like, uh, you know, 
uptown in Dallas or uptown in Houston. It's, 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 it's restaurants, it's shopping, it's, you know, kind of live, work, play. Um, we would hope to see residences there. So it, it so we it's hope, different, in a, different than an airport in that way. Totally different than an airport. We want to see like a, uh, um, what we did at the city of Dallas when we did um, a kind of a stationary study is the goal is to make a vibrant community within you know a 600 acre site which is kind of a um, you know convention center south to you know uh, you know s south of the station into the cedars and right up to the trinity and in houston it would be i-10 up to northwest mall maybe a little north of there and kind of abutting uh, existing residential development we're not going to we're not going to impact that but then redeveloping a lot of a lot of the industrial stuff but when you get out it's a place you, it's a place you'd want to go even if you don't want to ride the train it's it's a place that people are going to go to because of just the energy that's created by the train